Hello friend this is Kunal welcome back to my channel today we will going to learn the most familiar topic of mechanical engineering that is gyroscope everyone wants to know how the gyroscope will act in the aeroplane ships automobile cars and the two wheelers so in this video i'll tell you some simple trick to find out the gyroscope effect before starting the video if you are not to subscribe my channel then go and subscribe okay friend let's start gyroscope what do you think about the gyroscope gyroscope is nothing but the balancing unit it produces the equal magnitude of forces or the moment in opposite direction to find out this forces and its direction some of you or the most of you uses the right hand rule which is uh, almost correct or uh, even the best thing to do but it takes lots of time and it makes something confusing to the students and remaining uh, remaining students or the people uses the by hard learn method means they just learn that table which is given to you and uh, solve the problem but in this video i'll tell you how to find this effect without the right hand rule or without learn or mug up that table for this for or find out the magnitude we see one example here here is example the mass of rotary engine of aeroplane is 400 kg and has a radius of gyration 300 mm when viewed from the front the engine rotated with the clockwise direction at 1500 rpm when flying at 180 km per hour the aeroplane loops in circle of 40 mm in the vertical plane tending to raise the nose find the magnitude and direction of gyroscopic couple acting on the plane here the something we have to mark which is used and find out the magnitude of that reactive gyroscopic couple so uh, one of is mass of the engine here the two to three types of uh, question will generate they give the mass of fins mass of transmission system and all and we have to add up but here in this problem they directly give the uh, mass of engine so we take is like m equal to 400 kg which is simply right in the given then they give the radius of gyration here the radius of gyration is 300 mm which is uh, if we convert into the meter it is 0.3 meter if this uh, is uh, this gyration radius of gyration is not given there is a formula for that r by under root 2 we can find the radius of gyration from this also now they also gives the the viewed uh, where from where if they viewed the this uh, action as it given in the question they viewed from the front of engine rotated with the clockwise direction at the 1500 rpm so uh, here the n is what that is rpm 1500 rpm and they also give the flying that means the velocity of that aeroplane 180 km per hour so just write it in but we want it in the meter per second so we just convert in 1 into in 180 into 10 to the power 3 which is converted to kilometer to meter and divided by 3600 which is converted to hour to second and write it as a 50 meter per second then they again give the loop of loop in the circle of 40 meter diameter in the vertical plane tending to raise the nose so the, basically they gives the diameter of that uh, aeroplane uh, not that aeroplane the uh, if the plane rotated in this direction the, the clockwise direction they make uh, it makes a loop so they give the uh, diameter of that loop which is 40 meter and r uh, which is the half of that diameter which is 20 meter so if you find out the uh, magnitude of uh, reactive gyroscopic there is a formula for that c is equal to i omega omega p where the i is a mass mass moment of mass moment inertia and the w or the omega stands for the angular velocity and omega p stand for angular velocity of precision so there is again formula for the omega p that is v by r which is given in the uh, in the term of velocity divided by the radius of that loop Uh, and we if we put the values over here then 50 divided by 20 that is 2.5 and it gives in the right per second so again uh, if you find out the omega here the formula for the omega that is 2 pi n by 60 just put the value 2 pi n here the n is what 
so please we simply put it and get the answer that is 157.08 rad per second again mass moment of inertia that is i here's the formula for i also that is m k square mass of engine or the mass of plane and into radius of gyration the radius of gyration is directly given here so just put the value and get the answer 400 that is the mass of uh, mass of engine into 0.3 uh, square that is the radius of gyration square it will give the 36 just put the all values in the form main formula that is equal to i omega omega p 36 into 2.5 into 15 uh, 157.08 it will give 14137.2 newton meter that is the uh, reactive gyroscopic couple magnitude after find out the magnitude of that reactive gyroscopic couple we have to find out the effect of that gyroscopic couple and this effect in same in aeroplane and the steering problem of the ships to find out this i have the one trick so i'll tell you in this video so for that trick just we have to draw a simple horizontal line and simple vertical line as shown in the screen horizontal line represent the orientation of the plane or the ships and vertical line represent the position of the plane that is nose and the tail or ships that is bow and the stern and we simply add a arrow like this on the horizontal line when it rotated in clockwise direction and when we viewed from the rear side that is like that when we move from this in the uh, it will rotate in clockwise direction so this was uh, this is the left and this is the right side when when the plane wants to turn the left side so the nose is raised as as you see in the screen and this turn will raise as the value we can we can measure it like on the horizontal uh, sorry vertical line as it is raised or it is lowered or the dip similarly when it takes the right, right turn so the stern will raised and the nose will dip like this this is the lowered point and this is lower it is lowest point it is lowered and it is upper so it is nose is dipped and the stern will raise similarly when we take the plane in anti-clockwise direction or we can say the plane moves the plane rotor moves in the anti-clockwise direction then the simply we just change the right side to the left side and left side to the right side and same condition then when the plane takes to takes left turn the nose will dip and the stern will raise when it take right turn the nose will raise and the stern will dip it is just opposite to that of the clockwise direction now the another condition is what when we viewed the plane or the ships from the front side that is the nose or the bow so the some simple modification is needed to it here we move the move the plane or the arrow in this direction now we have to move the arrow or the plane in this direction nothing more than that and the same condition apply the same condition so when it take when it take the right turn or when it moves in or uh, when it rotate in clockwise direction or take the right turn like this take uh, this was the left and this is the right when it take the right turn so stern will dip and the bow will rest or the nose will uh, raise or the tail is dip and when you take the left turn the stern is raised and the bow will or the how oh, yeah bow will dip as shown in the figure or we can say it is just opposite to that of the clockwise and when the when the aeroplane rotor rotated in anti-clockwise direction like this so the right side becomes the left side and left side become the right side and when it take the right turn so the stern will raise and uh, bow will dip when it take a left turn then 
what we say stern wheel uh, dipped or the bow wheel raised now you can see the all what i said in the given table which is showing on the screen now now if the take we take the problem of the ship there is there will be the three condition that is steering means the moving forward as you see in the screen pitching pitching means move upward and downward as you see in the screen rolling means it will move like this the formula for the steering is just same to that of the aeroplane problem that is c equal to i omega omega p now there is some difference in the pitching pitching problem so pitching means now you know the pitching so there is a deflection within some angle so we just have to find out that displacement we call it is angular displacement and there is a formula for that the formula is like that theta equal to phi sin omega 1 t now t is a time omega 1 here the formula for the omega 1 that is 2 pi by tp here the time period for pitching that is tp time period for the pitching means for for what time the pitching is done over there and now the omega p that is the if we find out the omega thing that is the angular angular velocity of precision we just have to derive uh, derivate that uh, displacement that is angular displacement and we get the angular velocity of precision the formula for that is what phi omega 1 cos omega 1 t we just simply derive derivate this angular displacement formula and we get this now in some problem there is a angular velocity which is in maximum value so for that we have to find out the maximum precision angular velocity of precision for that condition we just simply put the cos cos omega 1 t equal to 1 as you all know in trigonometry the most highest value is 1 so we just put this and we get the formula like phi omega 1 and we know the omega 1 formula that is phi 2 pi tp so now we can get the, all the things and the uh, omega as you all know omega's formula 2 pi n by 60 so this now the c will is what i omega omega p where the omega p is what phi omega 1 cos omega 1 t the effect of gyroscope here the Or, uh, just pitching. What do you mean by the pitching? Is just a uh, move upward and downward. So when the nose down, when the nose moves downward, then the gyroscopic couple or uh, it will move the nose upward side. So this will the effect of that uh, gyroscopic. Now the condition of rolling. Rolling is nothing but similar to the that of the aeroplane's problem. That is, instead of using the ang angular velocity of precision, here we use the angular velocity of precision of rolling. That is O omega p rolling, and the formula is like I omega omega p rolling. In rolling, there is no such kind of effect. As you see, I hope this will really help you in your solving the problem. I think it will. Uh, gives you eight to thirteen marks in the examination of your NAS university. Thanks for watching the video. If this content is really useful for you, then hit the like button. And after watching this video, if you are not still subscribe my channel, then go and subscribe it. If you have any queries about this video and my previous video, then write it in comment box. And if you want any kind of notes or the videos. or any topic of related to the mechanical engineering then go to my facebook page that is mechanical entertainment i'll give the uh, link of this in description box so write there any kind of notes uh, if you want i'll provide it in within the 24 hours